as a researcher, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm most interested in making these measurements and everything, but it's also very important to keep in mind the practical considerations of down the road making things that are clinically actionable and able to be implemented in the clinic. Um, generally speaking, we like to think that there are uh, a, there's a lot of information and data that are available in uh, four bodily fluids. Um, that would be uh, saliva, um, urine, uh, spinal fluid, and the blood. Now, I think all of these could uh, carry a lot of information, could be really informative. Uh, we really focus in on the blood. Um, Lee Hood has said for years that the blood is a window into health and disease. And the idea is that blood is the only tissue that interacts with all of the other tissues and organs in the body. Therefore, any changes that might occur in any individual organ, say your liver, would be reflected in the blood. So if, if there's some perturbation, some change, some disease that affects your liver, the way that the liver interacts with the blood, different proteins that get secreted, uh, these kinds of interactions, we're able to measure that in the blood. And of course, your blood is intrinsically accessible. Getting a blood sample from someone is fairly, uh, fairly certainly routine part of clinical care, um, but it's also um, not a huge burden on the patient. And that's, that's obviously a very practical consideration is also how much matter do we need um, in order to make some of these measurements. Uh, you know, technologies are constantly improving, but we still need to have a certain amount of matter in order to make a measurement. Um, and so that's a large part of where these technologies are going, is requiring smaller and smaller samples, uh, because from just a single vial of blood, there's only so many measurements we can make, because if there's just not that many of a particular kind of protein in that vial, we might need that entire vial of blood in order to make one measurement. But if we're interested in measuring a lot of things, then we might need to, to add more and more vials of blood. Um, so that's mainly where our focus is, is to try to learn as much as we can about an individual uh, by profiling the blood.